So, as I said at the start of the video, um, there's just something I feel like I need to say. Um, and I thought I would get it out of the way and let people know. Um, last two weeks ago, Saturday the 14th, um, we were down my first time um, at an AGM and uh, didn't really know the ins and outs of it. Um, but went down and you know they go through the usual the agenda race program um who's taking what positions and whatnot um, and it was good to see everyone and such a well packed um meeting uh so the thing about it was was i got voted in for a P PO or press officer role um to be honest, I uh, didn't really know what to do at the time. Um, I knew nothing about it, and to be honest, was a wee bit taken back by it. Um, but I have to be honest. I went home and had a few days to think about it, and it's something that, personally, right now, I don't think um, I'll be I'll be going ahead with it. Um, I talked to Sam Duke and and sort of voiced my opinion on the thing. Um, I'm only really new into the sport and even all this is pretty new so um, I hope people understand. Um, I'm sorry if it does disappoint people but you know being in Pigeon sort of a year, two years you know I'm, I'm still getting my head around things. This is this year has been the first year I've, I've sort of even been in the breeding law side of it um, trying to get an understanding of pigeons and pedigrees and whatnot so I just think for the task itself um, it's a bit too much and you know it's something that in the future I will look at um, and take forward. I do appreciate the, um, people voting and uh, I want to thank um, people that did do that, um, but we're going to run with maybe trying to do these episodes um, and see how, how things go. I just want to want to take baby steps and I want to learn the ropes right and uh, we'll see how things go. But again, sorry to disappoint people and uh, I hope obviously someone steps in because writing articles is a bit different to writing a paragraph on you know my own, our own stuff really um i am i am far from someone that can write um i didn't didn't come out of school with energy so i see so that says it all but uh as i say i appreciate the guys uh that, that felt strongly to try and put me in um so today is another video here um just basically giving a bit of an update um last video was bellman show which was fantastic a real real cracking day um really enjoyed myself um again it was probably my first show um that i can remember um in a long time i think the old lad um, took me when I was younger but had no recognition of it so um, or I can't really remember it and um, it was good to see the show so packed and plenty of people about so fair play to Belmont and thanks very much for, for putting on the show and hopefully you know it seemed the vendors and people selling birds uh, got a good turn too so it's great to see and you know, pigeon pigeon sports still alive. You know, maybe numbers are down a bit, but it looks you know healthy going forward. Um, with the pigeon side of things. Um. So yeah, in this video, um, I'm going to basically go through just some of the stuff that's been happening here at our own place. Um. During when when the season finished last year, um, my dad had sort of said he would like to build somewhat you know a shed man shed you know for all their stuff and where we could sit you know um during racing and whatnot uh it, it it's 
it sort of turned into a bit of a project um, itself because I think we, we sort of were looking eight by six sort of shed just to you know put a settee in and sit and watch the birds and stuff and racing and it's turned into a 16 by 8 or some I think it's something like that um, so yeah a bit of a project um, me personally I'm not one that's good with my hands that involves a lot around my brother um, my brother he came and gave us a hand with most of it to put it to, to put it together so um, thanks very much John yeah I'll take you around um, show you what's happening the garden at the minute is like a palm square because during winter the rain wet it just it ends up like a swamp and because of all the work we're doing here there's just bits and bobs everywhere we're trying to sort the young bird loft out um, because we will have probably in a few weeks you know young birds going into it so um, yeah stay tuned and uh, we'll take you around so this is currently the shed we've been working on um, as I said it sort of started off as something on the scale of like 8 by 6 feet but has sort of turned into 16 by 8 to be honest when we were building it we were inclined to near enough turn it into um, a pigeon shed but uh, that was sort of quickly stamped out because as I said it was somewhere that we just wanted to build that we can go and sit um, so I'll just take you around it and show you the ins and outs so as I said there's still a bit of work to be done with it um, need to add gutter at the back so I don't have any place back from the garden going up the, the shed um, my dad actually bought these pallets um, off a guy I uh, can't even remember who it was from but we used them as obviously our walkway um, it turned into a great job real sturdy bits of wood so um, just take you around the loft itself um, is black PVC um, and we were lucky enough to get a PVC window and a sliding door um, anybody wants to know where we got most of the material was from a guy uh, called Cliff um, Cliff got us sort of the materials most of the materials to build the shed is in the wood and the black PVC so thanks very much for that Cliff um, just take me down there and see it so as I say there's still a wee bit of work to be done in here um, just sort of put John the brother he as I say he's the joiner of the family so everything that is built here has been mostly by him um, but just got some of dad's memorabilia from the past seasons um, I think there's one there for the Donald Club that I have to give to Ian and this is just the setup just a bit of a heater keep it warm during the winter months um, I put a post on last night about on the Facebook page about switching the clocking system this year so as I say really looking forward to, to trying that out um, Benzene just seems to be the company that's really moving forward with things um, and that's why hopefully in the future the upgrades of what they do with the clock and how they keep it rolling will only improve it so uh, just put TV and computer I have this picture box that I we built um, but I think it needs a few alterations um, in terms of when you put a pigeon in they seem to sort of cramp down um, and I don't know if it's 
as comfortable as I thought it would have been so I have to make a, a few alterations um, with that and then we've just got some some storage drawers and whatnot. Uh, so I'll take you away nosy into our young bird shed um, at the minute obviously young birds in a few weeks will be being winged into the shed um, and at the minute we're just working our way through getting it sort of cleaned and disinfected and whatnot so um, the, the shed itself I think is if I can zoom out a bit here the shed itself is I guess about 20 24 feet by 8 feet and around that um, it's just basically standard pitbull boxes um, and whatnot in here sorry I have took everything apart um, yeah just standard pitbull boxes that you can open and close um, as I say, I'm working through getting it disinfected and cleaned up for the young ones to be weaned over. Um, with the young birds, we actually darken our shed, um, so we have sliders on the roof, sliders on the window. Um, this year, obviously. Um, with the changing of clocks and changing of pads with no real alteration with that's just sort of flips up um, and these are the, the, the traps that the young birds come through and the other side here um, it hasn't been done yet it's just the tipplers are in here um, just somewhere to put them for the time being which is a bit of a, a nightmare because I would like to maybe build something for them just to get them out of the way um, on the front of the young birds we have just Avery's um, these are all sort of hand built by my dad and John um, so They've served us well. I think for next year we're maybe looking at alterations with the young bird shed, but again, there you sat and thought about the things that you would like to do compared to the things that you have to do. It's it's crazy, but this is basically the setup that we have here um, at Brooklyn's House. Um, this shed here was originally up to that side of the garden that was there um, and as I say go love John that shed's been there for for donks so uh, he had a bit of a task to try and move it down here we did have a, a greenhouse where that shed was but we sort of got rid of it um, and we just wanted to have the stock all together so it'd be easier just to to go through the young birds and whatnot. Um but that shed was sorta of, it had bent and twisted all sorts of shapes so for John to try and straighten it up um to love him but he he's done a good job and it's there's no damp or or nothing like that getting in so um that there is our stock side of things and then this would be our main, our main sort of race, racing loft. Um, it's just divided into the four sections. We have two, two cock sections and two hen sections for here for racing our old birds too. Um, at the minute, everything the race birds are actually down on young ones um, and again they are just sitting, sitting on some of the young ones 
Um, these young birds go to um, usually our club mate um, or for people to sort of try out. These are the cocks. Again, they're on grilled flooring, um, just easier to maintain. Usually cleaned out once, twice a month, the flooring, and uh, that's really it. Um, so these are the one one section of the cocks. I think we're 24 cocks this year, two mates, um, or 23. Um, again, because of the pods, um, because of the pads, there's gonna have to be an alteration um, to our traps. Um, they normally just sort of slide down like that, um, and the pad is in underneath here. Um, unicorn pads were were slightly smaller, so they fitted in there pretty perfect. Um, but because of this year. We are going with benzene, the pads are slightly bigger, so Dad and me are sort of working around um, designing some sort of um, designing some sort of new trap for it. Um, into the other section. Um, again, is just another cog section. Um, I think there's, there's, I think there is 12, 12 cocks in this side and 12 or 11 in the other side. Um, this flooring will be changed um, within the next sort of, hopefully couple of weeks we have a bio down here on a set of, on a, on a young bird so we don't really want to move him just yet so once that young one gets up and ready um, to be moved over then we're going to put the same sort of false floor in um, but yeah I mean we've, birds seem to have went through um, a good molt um, pretty happy how they came through and uh, as I say down on young birds and eggs and stuff at the minute so it's all a process that takes time and you sort of think when the young bird's going to hatch and then the young bird's hatch and then when's the young bird's going to be weaned when they're ready for weaning you know it's just obviously your time constraints um, and because this year I will be going on widowhood and um, this will be my first year obviously getting the grips with the widowhood um, Dad will obviously guide me in, in terms of what way to set up for the widowhood. Um, so I'm looking forward to it I, I, and I can't really wait to try it and see how the, the, the cogs perform this year. I think from last year um, we had a different setup where we had widowhood cogs in, in here or next door and the hands sort of set up on this side um, but it didn't really go to plan so we've just hopefully go back to just straight with a hood um, uh, and seeing how most of, the, most of the pigeons in here um, are all yearlings um, with a few older cocks in here uh, but most of them are all yearlings so the whole system side of things will probably take some time um, for Hopefully the, the, the yearlings learn it pretty quick and um, we'll just see how we go with it. Um, I suppose this is where you put all your, your hopes and ambition and uh, what they can do. Um, within here, again, it's just the, the hands. Um, that's the hen boxes with string. Um, to be honest, I, I would maybe like to look at changing the string um, at some point. Uh, we had a couple of issues last year with the string breaking and then birds were trying to near enough commit suicide with it. But this, 
mental. Um, never seen anything like it. How a bird can wrap a bit of string around its neck. It's just crazy. But all in all, um, again, most most of the birds in here, um, we had something like 30, 32, or maybe even more yearlings moved over this year. So a lot of these pigeons are younger we do have a few older hens um, a couple have been put into the breeding section um, and whatnot and uh, sort of look forward to, to trying them on the breeding side of things but th there's probably around maybe eight, eight or so older hens um, so yeah, again, these girls are on a false floor. Um, I like to try and scrape them sort of every month or every two months. Um, this makes you know the workload a wee bit lighter if you're not having to scrape every day. We normally scrape um, boxes um, and stuff every day, but with the floor, that's a handy thing with the false floor um, you don't have to be at it every day um, so we'll just go into um, back through and we'll go into um, we'll go into the breathing section so as you can see this here is the breathing section um, the breeding section, obviously, I think there's three sections all linked together. Um, there's probably around 12 pairs in here. Um, as you see, the young birds are getting up. Um, really happy how the young birds are actually looking. They look pretty healthy. Um, which, and, and, you know, parents are feeding them quite well. Um, so quite happy with how things are. As I said, this is the first time me sort of coming in to get an understanding of the stock team. Um, it is something I think for my dad it's quite easy. He knows these birds in the night. I think for someone like me being pretty new there's quite a lot of birds, stock birds anyway. Um, so to say I know them individually would be lying, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't a clue when it comes to this at the minute, but I'm, I'm trying to sort of just get myself involved and sort of seeing, you know, what's what and who's who. You know, Dad obviously tries to talk me to you know, tell me what the birds are. I mean, when you think about it, uh, I mean, he's been doing this 40, 50 plus years. Um, so he pretty much knows these birds like the back of his hand. Me, on the other hand, um, it's it's all pretty fresh. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a bit like when they say, you don't even remember your, your winners. Which is probably right in my book right now because at the minute the only sort of pigeons I know is our double run cock that bred uh, 37 um, and 37 obviously was a, a great young bird for us last year and you know I sure to, I sure to know a little bit about, about them um, but I think it'll just take time and that's something that I get a bit frustrated with because I would like to know the ins and outs and when me and dad are sitting talking about you know the stock team I somewhat get a wee bit overwhelmed with it because I, I meet and understand this quick um, and it takes me a bit of time to sort of see what he's talking about but if anything you know you just 
you enjoy the pigeons. Um, the thing I've enjoyed most is just sort of sitting in the loft with with the pigeons and and you know trying to get them used to me. But the stock are different. They're as you can see always on the nervous side of things. No, they're in great condition. Um, have no complaints. That this blue cock behind that pad. Um, this here boy at the back don't know if you can see him this we can point this boy here that is the Sarah of, of 37 and the mother of 37 I think is I think it's this that checker here um, that's the mother of, of 37 so hopefully it produces the same sort of goods we would be quite happy with that but I mean the birds are pretty healthy um, birds conditions pretty pretty good um, I normally throughout the week they sort of get I'm a big believer in sort of the natural state of things so they get the greens and they also um, will try and make sure they get a bath once, even twice a week at times because obviously when it comes to pigeons um, when they're down, more so on the eggs and very young young ones, um, the hens won't sort of take the bath so that's why they sort of add two baths a week at times. But this here boy, I, I really like this pigeon. Um, if I can zoom in here, focus up. He's like a real deep red. Um, bit of a bit of a character when you put your hands toward him. <laughs> you know. Um, so hopefully. We'll see what he does. But yeah, as you can see, they're getting up a wee bit now. They're starting to move about the nest, and uh, it'll be interesting once the next couple of weeks. Um, the next couple of weeks, we will be obviously winning them over into the on bird shed. Hold on, there we go. Yeah, just went them over into the young bird shed, so um, all in all, everything's sort of going smoothly, we'll say. Um, you never know with pigeons what's around the corner in terms of, you know, things going wrong or things going sideways, so we just hope that we can keep doing what we're doing, keep them healthy and, you know, start start the, the young bird season well. Um, Obviously, you know, it's trying to reduce the stress factors as much as we can. So, you know, with this year, I'm trying to obviously be in here a lot more than and than we would normally be. So, yeah, we'll just see how things go. Um, as I say, I'll maybe do another video. Um, what I would maybe like to do is to start trying to obviously involve other people with it um, and not just base everything off myself when I said about you know the press officer and stuff um, at the start of the video as I say it's just it feels like too much to take on um, and, and have such a big responsibility um, because it's something that I feel if you're going to do you know you try and do right um, and I don't feel that I was in the position to do that so um, what we could do is maybe you know find a way to you know do some loft visits maybe and sort of see how they work out um, equipment wise you know I don't have all the bells and whistles and I'm just using what I can so yeah we'll just sort of see what the future future does and uh, we'll see how things go with that but 
Um, hopefully you enjoyed the wee look round. Um, as I say, being new into the sport, you know, um, it'll take a wee while to get up to speed um, with a lot of things, and especially with these videos. Um, you know, it, it's all new to me talking about pigeons and showing pigeons. So we'll just take it step by step and see see how we get on with things. Um, as I said, I would appreciate if it's something that you're interested in, you know, do drop a wee like or, or subscribe to the channel and uh, we will be back with another video um, in the future. So thanks guys and uh, take care of yourselves and wish you all the best for 2023 season.